Hello folks, so I am rolling out two rigs, but I'm not sure if I'm going to use them both because I looked at the satellite and I see clouds coming, so I'm not sure. I've got about an hour and a half to decide still what I'm going to do. But if I'm going to leave, if I'm going to do one rig though, it's going to be the Rasa. And I'm working on the Seagull Nebula, and I started working on my data, and I had almost four hours of oxygen, about uh, about four hours of sulfur, but I only had three hours of HA. And since it's clear right now, I think I'm going to collect a little more HA. Maybe I'll take it up to four or five hours if I can, if the sky permits tonight. And we'll see how it goes. Uh, well, that's all I got for now. Okay, so I decided to only set up one rig tonight, and I am glad because I don't think I'm going to have much time, and it would have been a waste of effort to get two running. Look at look at the satellite. Um, this is, I think I'm already being hit with haze. I'm right here on the map, and it's coming for me. And um, after today, I think we're probably going to have a couple days of rain, so um, whatever I end up with today... I'm just going to process the seagull. Um, if I don't get any good data, I think I still have enough to just process it. And um, here is my one rig, the Rasa. And it's it's pointing pretty low to the ground. I mean, pretty low to the horizon. And I only have about maybe 25 minutes on the east side of the meridian before I have to do a meridian flip. Um, this um, Nebula is not going to be around for much longer. So if you need want to capture the seagull, um, you better start now. <laughs> if you have clear skies, I know a lot of you um, telling me that you're, you're you've been cloudy for months, and that that's just terrible. Sorry about that. But anyway, um, here is my laptop that I'm running this rig off of, and uh, uh, you can see. Um, I'm, I'm having a hard time. My my stars are uh, according to the HFR are is not as pinpoint today. Um, you can see in days past where I was down in the 1.5 range, but I I tried, I tried to get a good focus. I can't do it. The HFR is bouncing all over the place, even though it says 1.45 when I I try to focus. Um, when I start imaging, it it just jacks right up. So I think uh, the seeing conditions. Are bad right now. <laughs> this whole session sounds like me complaining, but you know what? It is one of those nights. And uh, um, I'm doing HA. I do all my imaging at gain 75, 15 for for narrow band. And uh, I, I I'm glad I at least have a little bit over three hours already because I don't know if any of this data is going to be keepable. And you can see right here. My my mean readout is is high, 2200. I like that down in the 13 or 1400 range, maybe lower for HA. So um, I think it's haze causing that. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just it's just not good outside right now. And I know my my guiding was badly affected as well. Uh, <laughs> 1.78. It's it's one of those nights. What can I say? Uh, you know what? If I if I stay on this video, I'm just going to keep complaining. So um, that's all I got, folks. Uh, we'll see if any of this data is keepable, and I will. I'll see you later. came in the mail today. Celestron's 60th anniversary. 
my friend Amir at Salvestron asked if I wanted uh, one of their new shirts. And I said, sure, I'll take one, send me a large. So, happy birthday Salvestron on your, your 60th anniversary. All right, folks, I'll see you later.